All right, so I uh, hello. It's uh, twelve forty-five in the afternoon, midday. Uh, I've just finished the exercising and shower and such. I run half a marathon and then I did seven minutes of spinning. It felt all right, I guess. I am going to see a woman I have, I've met before who has a dog that I was mine previously. Her name is Unrit. The dog is named Molly. Molly was uh, born in 2008. And uh, we had her for five years or so. We took a few letters from her. And uh, then she moved on because she had. Uh, she didn't really. She was, a, you know, very low in uh, rank among the other dogs. So she was uh, abused and such by the others, and she couldn't find any peace. And she was uh, so nervous all the time. And uh, then she moved, and uh, uh, the woman who has Molly also has another dog from us. His name is uh, Ragnar, and. Uh, He's a uh, mix between Chinese Christad, uh, um, Peplum, and Chihuahua. You would think that he would be small, but he weighs about 10 kilograms. He's really big, and I mean, it's pure muscle, everything. So, I have, you know, issues with my weight and such still. I weighed 74.8 kilograms this morning, but that was after eating at midnight and then drinking two liters of fluid and eating a kilogram of pears. And then I went out running and uh, I ran a half marathon and then I weighed myself again. And I'd lost two kilograms from running. It took an hour and 50 minutes. And then I rode my bike and I drank about a liter and a half of liquid and I gained 8 hectares and then I felt fat and I still haven't eaten since my exercise my plan was to go to the store and buy a protein bar too since uh, I want you know, to get uh, essential nutrients and as few calories as possible when I am in this mood, as I am at the moment. And uh, it's hard, of course. And uh, I'm running late, unfortunately. I was hoping that I would be finished a bit earlier, but uh, the run took uh, five minutes longer than expected because I had to go to the bathroom twice. You know, my stomach was uh, very rebelling, rebellious this morning. And uh, I hoped it would be more feces, but it was just a lot of gas that wanted out. And it, you know, it sounded like that when I ran, and it gives you, you know, runner's uh, hold or whatever it's called, you know, when it aches in your upper quad quadrant. In either of them, usually it's uh, on my right quadrant. The same happens when I go out running, you know, directly after eating a larger meal. And for me, a larger meal is very large, considering how much I exercise and how much I eat. So I ate dinner with my father yesterday. We grilled. We first took a walk, and then we 
drill the uh, tenderloin or whatever it's called. I've said it before. You know, it's uh, pork outer fillet in Swedish to English translation. Oops. That's how it goes when you aren't careful. If you eyeshadow. that out. So I don't feel as done at the moment as I did uh, I've done the past few days. Uh, I'm still very, you know, troubled about my weight and such, but it's not something that, you know, affects my general mood that much that I feel. Hopeless. I guess it's because I've, you know, decided that my mental health is more important than, you know, passing an exam now. And unfortunately, that's just how it is. And this exam has been, you know, hanging over me for so long now. And I haven't been able to, you know, get it out, get it over with, because I haven't been able to focus as much as I wanted to. I'm running very late, unfortunately.
So that's my makeup for now. I'm just going to brush my hair very quickly. And I'm going to run away to the store and buy a few protein bars. And yeah. Now I'm going to have to go and meet and Ritz. And uh, I think she has our friend with her. So that's it for now.